Welcome to another episode of More Time Financial Gen Y Advice. In today's episode, we're talking about the large life event of purchasing your own home and some of the things you need to think about that come with owning a home. So, owning a house is great, it provides you with a lot of security, but it also comes with a large responsibility that, if you're not careful, can leave you in financial ruin if you don't take some simple steps to put in place to cover these risks. So, what you need to think about is if you're purchasing your house by yourself, what's going to happen in the worst case scenario that you pass away? What's going to happen to the mortgage and what's going to happen to the house? So this is where having a clearly outlined estate plan or having a will in place will outline what you would like to happen and what's going to happen in the event of you passing away. The other thing which we see a lot of times with young couples is they get together and they purchase a house together and sometimes they're married but sometimes they're not. And Invariably, sometimes they um, split up and this can leave a very big financial mess because now you've bought a property together and the relationship has broken down. What's going to happen to the house? What's going to happen to the mortgage? Who's responsible for paying the mortgage and who's going to keep the house? Are you going to sell it or are you going to try and work out that you keep it and you both live in it or maybe one of them lives in it and the other person just receives the rent from that person? So these are the things you need to think about when taking on a large responsibility like purchasing a house. And if you're in a relationship or you're thinking about getting a relationship, then this adds another layer of, layer of complexity to it. So just be really careful that you understand what your responsibilities are with owning a house and some of the risks that come with it.